2011, um, a guy at Oxford Instruments told us that they'd had a new batch of high temperature superconductor uh, from a company called Superpower in, in the US and that it was ready to use to make magnets. It was good enough. Um, so we thought, well, we'd better try it. So at that stage, Mikhail phoned up his friends in Prague and said, can I borrow your tokamak uh, for the summer to do an experiment? And I mean, tokamaks are not very common devices, so this is no. quite a big ask. <laughs> so they said, um, well, you can you can borrow it for two weeks. Um, at which stage we thought, can you really put a magnet on a tokamak in two weeks? And and the, well, the answer is yes, you can, so long as you've got everything prepared beforehand. So yeah. this was, um, I mean, it was a very um, uh, Heath Robinson sort of uh, yeah, experiment I, involving. Yeah. A cryostat made of plywood, some aluminium foil so that it didn't leak, and you could pour liquid nitrogen in, uh, and then a, a coil was wound out of 25 meters of this superconductor, and we yeah. worked out how to connect a power supply to the superconductor, and it all sort of boiled and fizzed, <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> it worked. We yeah. could produce. A, a significant mag magnetic field with very rudimentary setup and engineering, and the tokamak worked. 